God says, God is saying to you today, I know you have been struggling for a long time, financially, spiritually, and emotionally. You have a good heart and people have abused you in many ways. The devil has tried to make you lose your mind many times. You have been betrayed in many ways, yet you stand in the midst of your storms. You are still here because I am with you. I will not allow any weapon that is formed against you to prosper. Fear not, I am going to turn things around and bless you in the presence of your enemies. Hold on to your faith. Type 1414 if you believe in Jesus. Support our community and donate us through Super Thanks. God is saying to you today, the situation that you are going through or went through, the things you have in your heart, the things you lost, the people I put in your life, your seasons of waiting for a person and some things, that person whom I put into your heart, their sickness, the time you have lost, the season you're in, it's all not for nothing. Nothing. It's all for my glory. So move forward in faith without losing your focus from me. You will be rewarded for your faithfulness by me. Trust me. Then they believed his promises and sang his praise. Today, be sure to stand on the promises that, that God has made to you regardless of what the situation is saying or looking like. Sometimes we pay the situations in our lives a little too much attention, so much so that they cause us to doubt, fear and worry. But God has already declared over your life that you will not be ashamed anymore and that your best days are just ahead of you. So stand on those promises, confess those promises, and be sure to give God thanks for those promises. Be blessed and be encouraged. Type 1515 if you agree. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Don't give up. Sometimes we can find ourselves spending so much time thinking about how frustrating things are that we forget to think about how far we've come and how much closer we are to the promises of God. God sees the struggles we endure for his name's sake, and he has already set rewards in place for our faithfulness. But we can't quit. We must press on to the prize. In everything you do, put God first, and he will direct you and crown you with success. We should never view what we want from God more importantly than what he wants from us. God may be calling you to a season of spiritual growth, or to part ways with people who mean you no good, or to walk in obedience and stop playing with temptation, or to even start ministering to other people. Whatever God is seeking, make sure it's not on the back seat of your mind, while what you want is in the driver's seat. Give God priority in every area of your life and remember, nothing God said to let go of is worth holding on to. Type I'm ready to affirm. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you, while what you want is in the driver's seat. Give God priority in every area of your life and remember, Nothing God said to let go of is worth holding on to. Type I'm ready to affirm. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you, 